Hello and welcome to the devotions for the 26th of October. We have just been into one of our schools with our Open the Book story this morning. Samuel the Kingmaker. The Israelites were set on having a king like other countries had. But God knew that it wasn't actually what was best for them. But he let them have a king. And so Saul came on the scene. And initially he was a good king. But then he stopped listening to Samuel. And God stepped in. And told Samuel to go and see Jesse. Who had eight sons. The story goes in the open the book that Samuel went to Bethlehem, was invited into Jesse's house and the first son, Eliab, came. And straight away God spoke to Samuel. Samuel was excited, tall, handsome, strong son. Obviously he was the correct choice. And God went, nope. He's not. He may well be tall and strong, but so was Sam. So was Saul. And look what happened there. He's not the right one. But before you go on, I want to tell you what I am looking for. And God explained that whilst humans look at what's on the outside, how tall, how strong, how good looking, what your hair looks like, the kind of clothes you wear, God looks at what's on the inside. Our hearts, our character. After all, we are made in his image. And how we use those things to glorify God. So the second son comes in. No, not him. Third son, ah, you must be joking. Definitely not. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, all no good. Samuel is at a loss. What what else can he do with the sons have all been through? And God told him he would find the king at Jesse's house. So eventually he says, well, any more sons knocking around anywhere? And Jesse says, well, there's the youngest, but he's out looking after the sheep. Go and get him. He walks in, probably a bit smelly from looking after the sheep, maybe a bit dishevelled. And God whispers into Samuel's ear, this is the one. His heart is pure. He trusts in me. He will be the next king. And of course, that was young David, the shepherd boy. Now, as we know the story of David, when he becomes king, everything doesn't go as well as we would have hoped. But God knew. God chose David. He could see on the inside that he basically was a good man. And eventually all does work out. It's very easy for us to choose a book by its cover. To judge people by the way they look. If you're clean and smartly dressed, you must be clever and well off. And if you're a bit dishevelled and maybe not as clean as you might be you are obviously poor and not very clever and whatever as we go around our business today help us to look at each other with God's eyes forgetting what's on the outside and look at what's on the inside God bless.